So a couple of anomalies I've noticed while using the instrument. Um, you can see here I am set up in three phase voltage measurement and I've got all three phases 63.5 which is 110 volts between phases and I'm displaying the live to neutral voltage. Take the neutral out that still works. In the UNI-T UT233 manual tells me to connect this up. It's not very clear at all but it seems like you're supposed to have three phase three wire connected up with phase three in the common and the V3 empty which if I do that you can see I've got the phase to phase voltage there 110 to 110 and the V3 is missing so yeah it's a bit of a bizarre setup that is really. Um, I'll go through each of those ones so that should give you 230 between phases uh, quite light yeah so that's 230 between phases and then that one should be around about 400 398 so you can measure the three phase like that the final setting on this is uh, an unbalanced voltage system effectively and you get that when you're in three phase mode when I'm connect up the way I would normally connect up from a three phase voltage measurement you get that which isn't representative of too much and then if I add the neutral in changes and there I end up with uh, there the accurate reading 63.5 132.8 and 230 which you can see that's reasonably accurate with what's being displayed okay so that's those ones so the other anomaly I've noticed is with the phase and power factor measurement so there's the phase there's the degrees there i'm injecting one current just on the red phase if i swing my camera around you can hopefully see so my connections if i just pull these three out these are my current connections here and I've got L1 going to the live feed of the coil adapter and then the neutral there. Uh, put those three back in. And so back. Oh. Uh, let's take you out of there and just spin you around. Well, these are the connections from to my coil adapter here. I've got the neutral there which is common to all three coils and then each coil uh, live termination is in the yellow jack and I'm plugged into the center one which is the 1500 amp coil. So I'm putting it back in there and if we switch on. So we've injected in on the first stage so that's 60 3 volts, 50 amps, but you can see the degrees is a 180 degrees, which is out because this should be 0 degrees. Um, so what I'll do if I just stop that, so I'll swap the connections over on the current, like so, I'll swing him back. So we'll start again. So now with the current reversed, you can see I now read zero degrees, showing that they are in phase. So it's as though the head on this instrument is back to front because the current should be flowing in that direction down in through the meter um, according to the arrow on the coil. Um, unless this adapter is actually the opposite way around, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how I'd be able to prove that actually. So I don't have another power meter that's capable of reading phase angle. So I could test out the direction of the current through this clamp table. Um, so I thought what I'm going to do is try it with a DC clamp meter, this FLIR here, and inject a DC current, because the DC current will go through the coil just as well. And then we'll flick him on to amps over there. Flick him out the way. Uh, we have just to show, um, there's my yellow and blue into the back of the coil there. And put them in there. Put them through here. 
And if I just spin round, you can see here's my current uh, output from the skits tester. And I'm in jack one is the yellow, will be the positive, and black will be the negative, which is the blue lead. And we'll zoom into the display. Got a little light on here as well. So we are set to inject one amp. This will be with positive polarity. So you can see, hopefully, we are 49.9 amps. And you can see it's positive polarity. If I should be able to see that there. And what I'll just do is stop the test set. And I'm going to swap over the leads. And hit the go button again. Now this should be negative. And there you can see I've got 50.4, 50.5 amps. Uh, and that's showing a minus now because I've reversed the connections coming out of the skits. But that's the way the Unity is operating to keep the voltage in phase with the current. Uh, so based on what I found here, it seems like the head on this Unity is almost wired back to front. So in order to get the reading in phase without reversing the connections, I'd have to put it through this way as opposed to the normal way with a clamp of putting it through the front with a display in front of you. Uh, yeah, that's just one of the quirks of the instrument, I guess, as along with the actual measurement of the phase-to-phase -phase voltage, only picking up two phases. To be honest, it's a little bit disappointing. I don't think I'd uh, recommend anybody to go out and buy that. I think you'd be better off uh, saving your pennies and getting a proper three-phase power meter. So some of them you can pick up reasonably uh, cheap these days. But yeah, that's got issues, that one. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video.